The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Join Roundabout on this journey to the Philippines, a journey across the Pacific to listen to the traditional song of the rice planters. Who can never forget this song that has been etched in the minds of Filipino children? Our country is one of the largest hectares of agricultural land. So much of our culture and lifestyle is here anchored. Originally, only buffalo was used as the main farm equipment. Today, machinery has been changed in the lives of farmers in many places. So most farmers and farm workers now need to become skilled in using and maintaining sophisticated machinery. This is the story that Mark has been focusing on to discuss one of the major agricultural machinery used. These are tractors. The use of machinery has raised the level of farming in the country, as well as ensuring the income and the product of the farmers. Now, let's find out the engineering vehicle used in agriculture. A tractor is a farm vehicle that provides the power and traction to mechanize agricultural tasks, especially in tillage operations. There are two types of tractors used in agriculture. The two-wheel tractor and the four-wheel tractor. Two-wheel tractor is a single axial machine powered by an engine ranging from 3 to 15 horsepower. It is used for land preparation, planting, cultivating, harvesting, and transport. Various implements are attached to this tractor and the operator walks behind to provide control. Four-wheel tractor is a double axle machine powered by an engine ranging from 15 to over 100 horsepower. Power is delivered as a drop at the drawbar, rotary at the PTO, and lifting at the hydraulic system. Implements are mounted on the tractor using the hydraulic controlled three-point hitch system. It is also a slow moving vehicle up to 30 km per hour with high torque on the driving wheels. Now, we already know the types of tractors. Let's talk about the different system and parts of four-wheel tractors, starting with the fuel system. A diesel engine is an internal combustion engine that uses compression ignition that ignites fuel as if injected into the engine. Part of a fuel system first the fuel tank. The fuel tank is the container from which an engine grows its fuel. Second, the fuel injectors. Fuel injectors place the fuel contaminant into the cylinder. Third, the fuel injection pump. Fuel injection pump is the device that pumps diesel 
as the fuel into the cylinders of a diesel engine. Then, the fuel filter. A fuel filter is a filter in the fuel line that screens out dirt and rust particles from the fuel, normally made into cartridge containing a filter paper. Air cleaner. An air cleaner is a filter that prevents dust and other particles from entering the air intake of an internal combustion engine. Last one, the fuel water separator. The fuel water separator removes water and solid contaminants from the fuel before it reaches the fuel pump. <laughs> to produce power, fuel is burned inside each cylinder of an internal combustion engine. Temperature produced on a power stroke of an engine could be as high as 1,600 degrees Celsius that could melt other parts. These are the parts of the cooling system of a tractor. Fan pushes air through the radiator core and pull it through. It must cool the antifreeze that circulates through the block and head passages and reduces engine temperature. Next part is pump. Forces the engine coolant to circulate. Next is distribution hoses. It carries the coolant to the radiator where the fluid is cooled, then back to the engine to keep the vehicle from overheating. Radiator Heat exchangers used for cooling internal combustion engines. Coolant Reservoir is a plastic reservoir mounted in the engine bay that stores the coolant for the engine. The lubrication system has two basic functions. First is to lubricate the compressor's moving parts. Second is to cool the system by removing heat from the compressor's moving parts. These are the parts of the lubrication system. First part is oil filter. Oil filter is designed to remove contaminants from engine oil, transmission oil, lubricating oil, or hydraulic oil. Oil filters are used in many different types of hydraulic machinery. Second part of the lubrication system is the dip stick. Dip stick is a stick or rod used to measure the depth of a liquid, often used to check the level at which an OFAC or an accessible tank or reservoir stands. The third part is oil sump or oil pan. Oil sump or oil fan is a metal dish which covers the bottom of the engine block and holds the engine oil when it is non-circulating around the engine. Starting system is the heart of the electrical system in the tractor begins with the battery. These are the parts of starting an electrical system. Starting an electrical system. Alternator. To charge the battery and to power the electrical system when each engine is running. Starter motor. To start up the combustion engine. Battery. Provide current for the ignition and starting systems. Battery switch. Quickly disconnect your battery when your vehicle is in storage. The transmission system is basically the drive line of any automobile or tractor in this case. Transmission system controls and operation set. Instrument panel. Steering wheel. Engine stop knob. Shuttle shift lever. Clutch pedal. Four-wheel drive lever, PTO clutch lever, PTO speed selector, seat belt, operator seat, ignition key switch, parking brake lever, brake pedal, main gear shift lever, 
accelerator pedal, auxiliary gear lever, differential lock pedal, hand throttle lever, hydraulic draft lever, hydraulic position lever. Dashboard or instrumental panel. It is a control that plays in front of the driver. Part of instrument panel. Water temperature gauge. Turn signal light left. Tachometer. Turn signal light right. Fuel gauge. Headlight switch. Horn switch. Hazard warning light switch. Rear working light switch. Master lighting switch. And the last is steering switch. The three point hitch, also called the three point linkage, most often refers to the way of plows and other implements are attached to the agricultural tractor. The three point attachment is a simple way of joining any implement to the tractor. The implement can be attached on a tractor by one operator as well as the implement that are pulled, they can be together lifted up to the transport. So now, these are the parts of a three-point link system, PTO and Drobo. Hitch point. The word hitch is defined as a single articulated point or combination of articulated points and links through which the tractor delivers tractive effort in the form of pull or push to counteract a draw force of an implement or draft producing body. A hydraulic hose is specifically designed to convey hydraulic fluid or among hydraulic components, valves, actuators, and tools. It is typically flexible, often reinforced, and usually constructed in several layers of reinforcement since hydraulic systems frequently operate at high or very high pressures. Leveling Assembly Leveling assemblies are used to adjust the height of the attachments. Lower link arm and the upper link arm. The upper control arm connects to the uppermost area of the front wheel and the lower control arm connects to the lowermost area of the front wheel with the both arms then attaching to the frame of the tractor. Power takeoff a device that transfers an engine's mechanical power to another piece of equipment. It allows the hosting energy source to transmit power to additional equipment that does not have its own engine or motor. The swinging draw bar. Swinging draw bar produces a slight lateral movement so that the towing devices can turn easier with the motion of the tractor. This allows a more fluid turn instead of staying rigid, which could cause possible tipping issues. Top Link Pin is a linking device that is used for fixing agricultural equipment to the tractor. It is a very simple device to join two different types of equipment. The top link aligns the agricultural equipment to the tractor perfectly for better and smoother functioning. Top or upper link. It limits the current reach and also connects implement to the tractor. It transfers reaching forces of the tractor to implement and of implement to the tractor. Tractors are classified based on their structural design. The three classifications are the wheel tractor, roller tractor, and walking tractor. This tractor is classified into wheel tractor or also called a four-wheel power tractor. These are the sum of external parts of the tractor. Front wheel of the tractor. Simply guide the tractor through or for steering only for two-wheel drive. Hand holds also used to get up to the tractor. Headlight lights up the front of the tractor pot. Hood Hinge cover over the tractor engine. 
muffler provides quieter operations for engine and arrest sparks. Rear wheel of the tractor provide the tractor the immense amount of power required to carry out the various tasks. Roll over protective structure or ROPS. Two or four post structural frames primarily used to protect a seat belted operator from being crushed in case the machine rolls over. Side mirror helping the driver see areas behind or to the sides of the tractor. Steps used to get up to the tractor. Tail and work lights lights up the rear of the tractor. Toolbox storage of tools for repairs and maintenance. Three point link combination of one upper link and two lower links, each articulated to the tractor and the implement at opposite ends in order to connect the implement to the tractor. Ballast Any material added to the tractor for the purpose of enhancing traction or stability. Now, we know the various parts and system that can help us to learn more. In the next episode of The Good News, we will talk about how to operate a tractor.